I got the frame I'm swapping out, hanging up. I cleaned it all up, transferred all the pieces over. Nice and clean and pretty. Joseph's over there going to town on it. He's cleaning the yolks. What do you know about them yolks, Joseph? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph does a good job cleaning stuff. He cleaned up the swing arm. He's cleaning that. That's ready to go. So it's another night, another late night, back at the garage. I got the swing arm, bolt, lock nut, and other lock nut torqued down. Also got the, the pivot nut tightened down to the frame, so that secures the swing arm to it. I got the steering stem tor uh, torqued down. This is on there loose, I'm waiting to put the forks on to align it. And to top things off, my freaking little selfie stick broke. So I have another one. It's not as good as the other one because I don't have a tripod stand. So bear with me. I'm going to try to get some good footage out of it. But next we're going to mount the subframe. And then after the subframe, we're going to put the forks on. So I can line that all in and torque the steering stem nut. And then slowly put things back together. I took the uh, motor down to the car wash and pressure washed it look how beautiful that thing came out it's like a brand new engine so spike when it comes back together it's gonna be nice and clean and looking like a new old bike cool deal let me figure out a way to mount this up so you guys can see I gotta finish torquing things down right here on the suspension and the wheels then after that I'm gonna go ahead and start routing the wiring harness and just bolting everything on it shouldn't be a problem I still have to go and find the bolts for the uh, rear set that were uh, stripped out that I had to get out with an extractor but nonetheless it's looking like more of a complete bike and it shouldn't take a whole lot to Get her to where I'm just waiting on the fuel pump.
you can tell it looks more like a complete bike now just a lot of the little tedious things like wiring making sure the routing of the cables are right I got a little confused it's been a while got confused on where to route my uh, my cables for the throttle and I got confused for a second on how to route my cable for the clutch but I got them figured out and I got everything else wired in the way it should be a lot of this uh, I have to tuck in later whenever uh, I get more done on the vehicle I, I mean not the vehicle sorry after I get more done on the bike I still got to put the exhaust in and the radiator assembly then after radiator assembly's in I can go ahead and finish off the tucking in the wiring where it should be I'm also going to buy me another uh, upper triple clamp they're pretty cheap on eBay this one's pretty rashed up from crashing on it uh, I can use it the way it is it's not bent or anything but I just don't like it I like trying to make the bike look nice and clean and new looking I mean I went through the effort of cleaning everything and even the engine can tell how nice and clean that is but yeah it looks like a, a new old bike basically but things are moving along the way they should be can't complain what's going on YouTube back at the shop again we're gonna get this bike mostly done hopefully I can get it started today I got the fuel pump assembly in to rebuild the fuel pump in there I need, still need to put on the exhaust system, put on the radiator, and uh, the footrest and everything. I'm going to have to get that later. I still hadn't got the fasteners for it. But uh, I'm really happy I got the fuel pump in. That was kind of really cool because usually it's about, uh, about a week wait and I got it in in three days. So kudos on them. But yeah, I just got to put the exhaust in now. After the exhaust is in, get it all buttoned up. And then I'll put the radiator in, get that buttoned up. Uh, on the race bike, you're gonna run uh, distilled water and water re uh, water wetter. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, just uh, little things. Yeah, I was thinking uh, a lot about uh, painting the bike. I wanted to put a fresh coat of paint on it, but the more the more I look at what I got ahead of me as far as with the Datsun right here, I still got to get the ball rolling on that and to do the paint on the bike right now would just kind of interfere with things i got to get done on that so i got like two weeks until the track day so i still got to go through everything i hadn't ridden since uh, october of last year so i still need to go through this bike uh just getting it cranked and running and and just let the fluids circulate put some fresh gas in it but this one should fire up no problem and i want to get that one going so that I'll have no problems at the track whenever it comes time to ride it. Since uh, I'm gonna be riding two bikes, I'll probably just, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I might just change out uh, one, one time out on a lap on the newer bike, the one time out on the older bike and go back and forth like that. Or I may just do half a day on the one bike and half a day on the other bike. I haven't figured it out yet, but I still have to add another uh, bracket in my uh, in my trailer to fit two bikes. Only got one in there currently, so I always got shit to do. I mean, you know how it goes: project life and deadlines, and always something to do. I mean, and then you know, being a daddy, that always you know got to go tend to the kids and tend to the wife. So I'm always going 100 mile an hour every day and uh, sometimes I wish for a little break but then whenever I do get a break I don't know what to do with myself so. I got the radiator on now I got everything all nice and tight on the hoses got the the mounts tightened up nice and neat I got the springs on the exhaust all in place exhaust is routed through everything's nice and tight like it should be 
Uh, the only thing I notice here is I don't have a big washer on the back end right here. I need to take this off, see if I can bend it back just a little bit more and then put another, uh, another washer on it. Uh, this exhaust, I had to uh, basically rebuild the baffle on it after my crash because I messed this whole side up right here. You can see how I banged it all back out. Whenever I crashed it, it kind of bent it in really good on the uh, this coupler piece. But I banged that back out, re-riveted it, everything, and got it back straight so I can salvage it. Alright, so what I had to do is clip off the old connector to make a washer out of it because the eyepiece on this electrical wire for the ground is a little bit bigger. And I just slid that old connector over that and use it as a washer to clamp down on the, uh, the new wire lead right there. Just reinstalled that, tightened it down. This also holds the bracket up on top of the fuel pump which pushes it down on this rubber coupler. So from there going to install the new petcock and then install the strainer filter and we should be ready to uh, install it on the bike. We got a little set pin in the back right here. Make sure that's on there. There you have it, rebuilt fuel pump. Hopefully everything on this works. It was a $30 pump. More than likely it was made in China. So as long as it runs and feeds fuel to the carburetors, I'm okay with it. Alright, I've been at it all afternoon. I didn't have time to film it. It's tedious, it's long, 
Turns out the carburetors were nice and gummed up. So I tore them down, I put carburetor dip, dipped all the jets, cleaned everything up, got the carburetors back together, got it on the bike, got it everything back together, and main jets uh, were totally clogged up. A lot of the air passages were clogged. So it definitely is sitting over the years, everything gummed up. But uh, again, I apologize, I didn't have time. I'm like at a deadline for real to get this bike ready and my other bike ready for the track day. I'll try to film as much as I can, but for this, I just had to hurry up and get it done. And uh, so now that it's done, I'm gonna go ahead, power it on, and we're gonna crank this bad boy up and it's gonna run good. guys like I told you the uh, carburetors were gummed up and uh, I already went through a fuel pump trying to get the damn thing to run have to put the new fuel pump in again it didn't get any better well I got a little bit better but I was like you know it's got to be the carburetors and it's a good thing I did it the carburetors were really gummed up I should have known better from the start but you know uh, it's one of those things I was in denial but as you can tell Everything's looking good. It's idling a little bit high right now. Let's see if I can turn this down a little bit. There we go. Can't get any better than that. So, with that being said, I'm going to be able to put this bike together. I'm going to be able to... Uh, Take those race tires off, put them on here. Take my new race tires, put them on my other bike. And I'll be able to take both of my bikes out for the uh, track day this coming uh, weekend. Well, I say weekend, but it's Monday the track day is, but. Yep, looks good. Pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna get things ready on the bike. I'm gonna put tires on the uh, 07 GSX-R600 and I'm gonna take these tires off and swap them on to the 97 GSX-R600 so got my work cut out a little bit uh, I've only swapped tires a couple of times with the new tool I got from Motion Pro got a balancer and uh, some tire tools but they work good so just waiting for my buddy to get back with some soap water that'll help me uh, take the beads off and put the beads on. Alright, I got my balancer right here and the way that this works is the heavy side's always going to rest at the bottom. So if I turn the wheel slightly and let it go, you'll notice how the heavy side goes to the bottom end. It's going to start rocking back. Right there that tells me that that's the, the heavy side right here. So I have weights like these here, they're stick on weights. And what I have to do is go 12 o'clock position opposite of the heavy side and then that will uh, counterbalance the, uh, the heavy side and then you want to keep adding these weights until you can rotate the tire in any position and it won't rotate at all.
there you go well balanced wheel everything on it is it's good i rotated it barely it barely uh comes to a stop and it doesn't rotate back so that tells you that the wheel's balanced i had to do the same thing on the front uh rim I had to put uh, some weights on one side and then weights on the other because you don't want to put such a large strip on one side. These are worn tires. They didn't have the uh, the dot where you're supposed to line up where the uh, valve stem's at. A lot of people say that doesn't matter. I like to go by the rules. So I just stuck those on without uh, lining up the dot because the dot don't exist anymore. And they both balance the same. So. I'll call that good. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my other rims and then after that I'm going to mount them on the bikes. Alright guys, I got the uh, all the tires mounted and balanced. So now I'm going to go ahead and install them back on the bikes and then I'm going to uh, install the bodywork and bleed brakes and get everything prepped on these machines. That way I have everything good to go. I'm not going to film most of this. I'm just giving a, a quick update. I'm pressed for time and I'll probably film a little bit in between but mostly I'll show when it's done. Alright cool. And I got me a, another battery for the SRAD right there. I was going to get a lithium battery but they're, they're pricey right now and being that I had to spend a lot of money, track fees, tires, uh, gas to get there, hotel, yada yada yada. All y'all that do track days, y'all know, y'all know what's up. Okay guys, got both of the bikes together now. Got the new GPA Dunlop, uh, GPA Dunlop Pros mounted on it. I got the new sprocket put on it. I got the wool change done on it. Topped off my radiator, all my fluids are good on this. This was the one that took me forever to get done, but it's all together now. Swap the tires on these. Uh, set my chain length again and went through everything, make sure everything was good. Everything's buttoned down nice and neat on it now and it's ready to go. So I'm going to be bringing both of the bikes to the track and I'm probably going to take two two track sessions on the uh, 97 just to shake it down and be able to ride it these tires are they're still pretty worn but that's all right for two uh, two sessions not a problem after I ride this for a couple times then I'm gonna put all my attention on this bike right here and see how fast I can get my lap times down and uh, hopefully I can beat my best time my last time out on uh, October of uh, 2017. Yep, that's how long it's been since I've uh, ridden on a track, but that's okay. I'm just gonna knock the dust off and, and go for it. But for an old bike, she's real pretty. Real pretty bike. And everything's been cleaned up and redone, so it's like a new old bike. <laughs> Great, so Next time you hear from me, I'll be at the track. I'll get some good vi uh, video footage of me uh, doing the track day and hopefully my mic for my helmet comes in tomorrow and I'll be able to talk to you guys while I'm riding on the track. So that'll be a good thing. If not, then I'll, I'll do the best I can. But uh, the main goal for me out there is to enjoy it and uh, have a good time and try to go real fast. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. See you then.